A lot of people know about Tuscola because of its railroad history, but that's not the only reason to come here. Let me tell you, there is a secret joy right here in downtown. It's called The Vault. Kirby Pringle is the manager here. Thanks for having me, Kirby. Well, thank you for uh, having me. Tell me about this amazing place. It's full of art. It is uh, an art gallery that is 25,000 square feet, two stories. It is just jam full of art. We've got 40 artists, uh, a little bit more than 40 artists, displaying everything from jewelry to pottery to stained glass to photos and just everything. It's really amazing. I'm going to ask our photographer to kind of shoot this wide because I want you to get a sense of everything that's here. 25,000 square feet. Big. Yeah. Big. <laughs> that's a lot of art. That's a lot of art. <laughs> and we can't get to it all in one time, but I mean, we can start over here. We can start over here. I mean, this is beautiful wood carving. Yeah, it's a... Uh, Jeremy Williams from uh, Shelbyville and does beautiful, he does pins, he does bottle snoppers, he does bowls. Uh, we've got a couple really talented woodworkers uh, here. Yeah, and, and again, that's th these folks are from all over central Illinois and really all over the state. Well, I want to keep range. walking and showing off some of this stuff. So you've got wood, there are beautiful cards here, handmade cards. No cards, uh, pins, lots of jewelry. Um, Photographs, paintings, you name it, we've got it here. We've got sculptures, we've got steampunk lamps, uh, yeah, ceramics. Well, well, I want to look at that one here in a second, but then again, another lost art. And you don't find this everywhere. No. Stained glass is hard to do, and um, he, some people do stained glass out of kits, but Tom Collier's an old, re older retired guy from Tuscola, who does these beautiful uh, glass, uh, stained glass. That, He's very creative. He puts bowls in the middle, and it's it's really neat. People love it. Absolutely. I want to go into the next room here. Um, but yeah, I mean, the the art is affordable. It's you're supporting folks from around Central Illinois, which is also a really neat thing. And people make a point to do that. Now. Yeah, yeah. And this is all Central Illinois artists. So, you know, if you want something personal, a gift, decoration for your home, you know, you're by buying here, you're helping a Central Illinois artist, which is kind yeah. of a, a cool thing. This isn't going to a big box store and getting something that's uh, in, that's imported, that's mass made, and all this is individually made, which is another cool feature about it. Yeah, these are your prints over here. This is, this is what you make, the dog <laughs> the art. Dog, the I dog art. It. But you also do yeah. the Native American uh, photos, right? Yeah, I, I like restoring. Uh, these are all in the public domain. Um, so they're out of copyright, but I love to bring, I love uh, that part of our, our history and um, it's, it's, it's never going to come back. And so I just love doing, uh, bringing those pictures back to life, the Native American art, so. Oh, sure. And so, I mean, as an artist too, I'll have you speak on behalf of the artist, but you're an artist. I mean, you're an author too. And right. so getting the chance to share these things in a public setting like that, what does that mean for you and for other artists? Well, you know, I think the really challenging thing about doing an artist, about being an artist is having a place to sell. You know, the, your choices, if you want to sell as an artist or going to art fairs, which my wife and I did for 20 years, or having a, a gallery space. And it, it's just, a retail is challenging anyway uh, in, in the States or worldwide right now. And so by having a place to, to sell your art really makes a huge uh, difference, you know, because sure. art fairs are difficult to do. They're a lot of work, they're hot. You're depending on weather, they can be expensive. You got travel expenses. You know, if you've got your own gallery, you got a place where people oh, can yeah. come to you, you know. Yeah. And, and that's the other idea behind this, is rather than having something generic, mass-made, this is made by local artists, you're supporting the community, and you're getting a one-of-a-kind piece of art. Exactly, yeah. And it's just, you can't, uh, you're not going to find this, uh, even in a lot of big cities, even in Champaign-Urbana, there's, there's only one or two art galleries uh, remaining in Champaign-Urbana, so... To have something like this in a small town like Tuscola, I think, is really special, especially as big as it is in the variety of art that we have. Yeah, and you're so close to everything. You're central to Decatur, Champaign-Urbana, Charleston. This is like the, the midpoint. The Bermuda of, uh, Triangle of art. Is. Yeah, no, it's really great. <laughs> 25,000 square feet of art. 
incredible artists. They're looking to get new artists in here. They're looking to have new visitors here, too. So you can come right here to downtown to school. There's so much to do for the day. Come check it out. Come meet Kirby Pringle himself right here at, at the vault. Thanks for having us. Sure. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. We'll connect you to the vault's website so you can see just a portion. I mean, there's a lot going on, but you can see, get a good sample for yourself online over at CIliving.tv.